Hi, my name is Alicia Carruthers and today we're going to be talking about the what, why, and how of scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way of writing numbers that is used by scientists and mathematicians to write and say very large or very small numbers. For example, if you look at the mass of an electron, you can see that this number would be very tedious to write repeatedly and also very difficult to say. Even the Earth's mass is a very large number that most people will not know how to say or will make mistakes when writing repeatedly. Both of these numbers are in standard notation. Standard notation is when each number has a place value. That's where scientific notation comes in. A number written in scientific notation has three parts. A coefficient, which is a number between 1 and 10, a base, which is always 10, and a power, which is determined by the number of places the decimal is moved. A number is in scientific notation if it is in the form of a times 10 to the b, where a is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10, and b is an integer. Let's look at the mass of an electron again. If we want to change this number to scientific notation, we need to move the decimal until it be, the coefficient is a number between 1 and 10. If we move the decimal between the 9 and the 1, then the coefficient will be 9.1093826, which is between 1 and 10. Since we move the decimal 31 spaces, then the, co the exponent, or the power, will be negative 31. Whenever you change a number smaller than 1 to scientific notation, the exponent is always negative. When we talk about moving the decimal, we're really multiplying by powers of 10. For example, 10 to the negative third power means the same as 1 over 1,000 or 0 .001. So we will be multiplying by 0 .001. 10 to the negative second is 1 over 100 or 0 .01, which means you would be multiplying by 0 .01. 10 to the first power is just 10, which means you will be multiplying by 10. 10 to the second would be 100, which means you're multiplying the problem by 100. Let's look at the mass of the Earth again. If we move the decimal between the 5 and the 9, then the coefficient will be 5.9736. Since we move the decimal 24 spaces, then our exponent or power is 24. Whenever you change a number larger than 10 to scientific notation, the exponent is always positive. Let's look at changing another number to scientific notation. Let's look at solving our changing point 00621 to scientific notation. We need to make the coefficient a number between 1 and 10. So if we move the decimal between the 6 and the 2, you would have 6.21, which is between 1 and 10. Since we move the decimal three spaces, our power would be 3, and it would be negative because the number was less than 1. If we multiply this back out, we should get 0 .00621. So let's try it. We have 6.21 times, remember, 10 to the negative third is 0 .001. If you multiply 6.21 times 0 .001, you should get 0 .001. Zero, zero, six, two, one. If we want to change 4.327 times 10 to the negative third to standard form, our exponent is negative, so we're moving to the left. So if we have 4.327, three spaces to the left, one, two, three. Notice we have two empty spaces. Again, we fill these with zeros. So 4.327 times 10 to the negative third is 0 .004327. Let's look at another example. If we want to change 2.31 times 10 to the negative six to standard form, we see that the exponent is negative. This means we will have to move the decimal to the left six places. 
we have five extra spaces, which means we will have to put five zeros for those spaces. So 2.31 times 10 to the negative 6 is 0 .00000231. Now look at this example. Now let's change 2.36 times 10 to the fifth to standard form. Remember one way to do this is if 10 to the fifth power is a power of 10. So we have 2.36 times 100,000. If we multiply 2.36 times 100,000, we get 236,000. Using scientific notation, we could also just look at the decimal and move it five places to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, which also gives us 236,000. What if people were comparing things in different countries? For example, if, if three friends in Russia, Japan, and the United States were comparing the weights of their cell phones, it would be difficult to compare the weights when all the units are different. This is where the International System of Measure comes in. The International System of Measure is a universal, unified, self-consistent system of measurement units based on the MKS, or the meter kilogram second system, and defines the recommended practical system of units measurements for all industrialized countries, including the United States. It is commonly referred to as SI after the initials of the System International, the base units for the international system of units are for distance, meters, for mass, kilograms, for time, seconds, for electric current, the ampere, temperature is Kelvin, amount of substance, mole, and light intensity is the candela. This concludes this discussion of scientific notation. You should now be able to explain the why, what, and how of using scientific notation.